Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in her address to the 75th UN General Assembly urges world body to ensure timely and simultaneous availability of corona vaccine to all nations. Black 26th September today as the indemnity barring trial of Bongo Bundu killing passed on this day in 1975, Awamili scrapped black law on assuming power after 21 years. Coronavirus infection declining in country as 1,106 test positive in past 24 hours. World Health Organization warns of 2 million possible deaths around the world before effective COVID-19 vaccine made available. And Manchester United beat Brighton 3-2 in English Premier League football. Assalamu alaikum viewers, I'm Tanzila Mana Sultan. I'm welcoming you all to news at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chattogram Center. Those were the headlines, now moving on to the details. Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhary has said the Bangabundu Youth Loan is an effective step to create opportunities of youth and enhance their capabilities for their development. She was addressing virtually a function organized for distribution of checks of Bangabundu Youth Loan among trained youths of Pirganj Upazila, marking the birth centenary of father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Pirganj branch of Kalmushongstan Bank organized the function at Pirganj Upuzila Purishat Auditorium today. Senior Secretary of the Financial Institutions Division, Muhammad Asadul Islam, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Kalmushongstan Bank, Kanis Fatima and President of Pirganj Upuzila Awamilik Aziz Rahman Ranga spoke. On the occasion, the speaker launched distribution of checks of Bangabundu Youth Loan under the initiative of Karmo Shangstan Bank among 100 trained youths and 30 wheelchairs and two tricycles among the disabled people from her personal fund. 36 COVID-19 patients died in the last 20